How to make the masked flip transition. Today's video is sponsored by The Rock. Finally! Cut few frames from the end of your clip. Right click on it, select to change clip speed, and make it a freeze frame. Duplicate the second clip, bring it over the first cut, make it a freeze frame again, and trim it down to the size of the first freeze frame. Select both of those, make them a new fusion clip, and open the fusion page. Select the second clip, and add a transform node. Change the pivot point for the Y value to 0, and change the angle to 180. After the merge, bring a set domain node. Change the mode to set, and bring down the bottom slider to minus 1. Add a transform node, change the pivot for the Y value to 0, right click to the angle slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the curve to easing, the in to sine, the out to expo, and set the scale value to 180. Go back to the tools tab, and change the edges to duplicate. Add a radial blur, change the position for the Y value to 0, right click to the smooth strength slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, Change the curve to easing, set the in to sign, the out to expo, and activate the mirror box. Change the scale value to 0.5. Add a merge node. Duplicate your first clip, and connect it to this merge. Click in some empty space, and bring a polygon mask. Draw a mask around the person you want to keep in the frame. Once you finish the mask, connect it to your clip. Now that this part of the image is staying in the place, you need to make another one for the foreground element. Select your last merge, and add another one after. Duplicate again your first clip, and connect it to this merge. Add a polygon mask, and draw around the foreground element you want to keep. Select the foreground clip, and add a transform node. Change the pivot point of the Y value to 0. Go around the middle of your timeline, activate the keyframe for the angle value, go in the end of your timeline, and change the angle to minus 180. Go in the frame where your foreground rotation is starting, activate the keyframe for the size slider, go few frames forward, in the part where the foreground is covering the person. Increase the size to fully cover the person. Go in the last frame, and bring down the size to 1. Select the frame in which your person is fully covered. Select the previous merge node, activate the keyframe for the blend slider, and bring it down to 0. Go one frame back, and bring the blend slider to 1. If you want to smooth out the animation, open the spline editor. Check your last transform, hit the zoom to fit button, select all of the points, and press the smooth button. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, there is nothing for you.